This is a short video on accessing a server in AWS. So we have the cloud, we're trying to do data science. Can we get some resources? Yes, what's available? Tons of things. One of those being at the most like basic vanilla level, a server. And I just learned something cool about connecting to instances and I want to share it. So the traditional route here was you would go to AWS, within AWS, you'd go to EC2, which is their, their VM service, and you'd spin up a VM and I've got one running here. This is often where I'd find data scientists or people who are new to Linux and cloud, which is most people would struggle on just how do I actually connect to this thing? Like, is there a button I can click? So in the past, you'd either get the IP or the public DNS. You'd have to open up a terminal. You need to download a PEM file and you would run an SSH command typically from the shell. This was kind of the most common route. Is it an EC2 user? Is it Ubuntu? Like there's a lot of stuff that there's this expectation that you know how to use the command line, you know how to use SSH, you have some familiarity, and this is how you actually log in. And now you're inside of the server rather than being on your local machine. IF config. There we go. So uh, anyway, I wish there were an easier way and turns out there is. So if you come over here to actions or excuse me, just connect, I can connect via you know the kind of standard stuff, a standalone SSH client or this session manager, which I need to figure out, you can also just use this browser-based SSH connection. And it'll say like, we think your username is EC2 user, I'll click connect, and finally, sort of in a second or two, I'm gonna get a shell from AWS that's gonna let me actually have remote access to the machine. Uh, you're probably not gonna use this, you know, and certainly not in a production sense or anything like that, but you know, check it out. Who am I? I'm I a user. I have config, right? We can do things. I think from my from my perspective, for getting data scientists up and running, especially using cloud VMs, like having browser based access is definitely a nice thing. I didn't know this existed. I know GCP had it forever. It's really cool to see in AWS.